it just felt like home, honestly. And I get to singing. And when I sing, I really pour my heart and my soul into my music, to my song, to the words that I write. And so when I, when I sing, I go into this another, you know, this another place and I really see what I'm singing in front of me. Um, and it's such a, it's really a surreal experience. Yeah. You know, um, have you, have you, um, what's probably the most people that you've, you've performed in front of? Um, I just started out. So in December of 2019, when I recorded my first song, that was my first time, um, going into the studio, as I said, and it was also my first time January of 2020 was my first time, uh, performing live. Um, as I said, I'm very like shy and awkward. So my whole life I've been letting, like fear hold me back from becoming who I believe I was destined to be and I decided on my 25th birthday that will no longer be the case so I haven't performed in front of you know a big audience yet but that is definitely one of my goals yeah I mean that's something that you can probably bring to the teenagers that you work with that you know don't let fear hold, fear hold you back you know and take that that brave first step forward so you know like you said it's, it's inspirational to be able to see that you you were working with with with, with these uh with these uh with these uh, teenagers and hopefully getting them on the on, on a really solid path uh for the rest of their lives so again thank you for that and you know we've got a couple singles coming out for you tell me a little bit about that on february the 6th i have two singles coming out one is called true love it's really a upbeat kind of song about falling in love with somebody and getting married and all that stuff and then the other one is called stupid for loving you and it's the complete opposite it's very slow um melancholy i think that's what they the word is for um but um it's about basically falling in love with somebody who you know is not right for you but you still love them and you still want them um and then it just doesn't work out so both of those will be released on february the 6th and then i'll be doing a hundred dollar giveaway via tiktok um on february the 6th when those songs are released well i mean that's great to hear as well i mean Obviously, you have probably notebooks of, of stuff that you've written down oh, that yeah. <laughs> you these songs that were as well. I mean, how's it, how's it for you um, to, to say, okay, this song is going to be the uh, next song? Or is it a, a kind of a group process where, you know, you know, they say, well, actually, this one's pretty good. And this one can wait for a little bit. It still needs to be worked on a little bit. I mean, tell me that process. Um, usually, it's for me, it's so weird because I usually get songs or melodies as I'm asleep. And I wake up and I'm like... <gasps> that's it. <laughs> so it's kind of weird. Um, and then I'll start writing and sometimes I'm just like, eh, I'm not feeling it. And then other times I'm like, so emotionally connected to it. It takes me about like an hour to two hours to get it. And then once it's, once it's on the roll, I'm like, okay, this is good. Um, if, if I don't think it's going to be a good song, I usually don't finish it. <laughs> so I have like uh, notebooks filled with like a paragraph or something like that from songs. I just don't feel we're meant to be or not meant to be yet. Yeah, you know, I hear a lot of artists that that do go back and and look at the, some of their old stuff, and maybe they're in a in a time at which they can complete, complete it or figure out what going on with the song and then they'll end up recording it later. So it's always nice to have that kind of in your back pocket. And you know, you know, one time, yeah, sometimes I'll just come to you like, oh, I remember that song that I had written down that I never really got finished yet. Mm -hmm. or, or they'll they'll go back into the old notebooks and, and see something and say, oh, I can actually do something with this now. So That'll be something that you'll look forward to in the next couple of years, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm excited. And I hope, I'm really hoping that I get to do some co-writing because I've never um, co-written with anybody before. So I'm hoping to bring some of those songs up, um, maybe in a co-writing session. Well, if, if, if you ever wanted to work with anybody, who would it be? Um, <laughs> I really love Reba. <laughs> Reba or Taylor Swift was like, she's pretty much the main reason I started singing and songwriting because Taylor Swift came out. And, you know, I'm, I'm an African American woman. Um, I really didn't know that much about uh, country or anything like that until Taylor Swift came out. And it kind of opened my eyes to a whole new world of music um, and one that I felt like I connected with the most. Well, um, two two names that um, that come to mind when you're talking about that. First of all, um, Melissa Peterman, who has been on the show a couple times here, um, a good friend of Reba. She was co-star with Reba on her TV show. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I need to get her back on the show at some point. Um, and the other one is Charlie Pride. I've had Charlie Pride on the show before too, and he was one of the one of the one of the first black artists to really kind of hit big um, in, in the country genre as well. Um, sorry to say, he passed away last year, mm. um, just about a couple months ago, which is kind of sad. But I had the opportunity to interview him a couple of times, and it was great to be able to hear um, to hear him as well. So yeah, and I love the fact that you know we're kind of getting into that that thing where I think country is opening up more towards. 
a lot of different uh, a lot of different people, a lot of different races, mm-hmm. a lot of different you know interpretations of what uh, what country can be, and it's right. evolved. It's it's interesting. It's an interesting time in country music, to say the least. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. I think, um, especially from what I can tell, I think Kane Brown really made um, a huge impact uh, for the African American community in country music because he came out with this. And Sam Hunt, his style is very very different from the typical it's almost like a rap mix with country um but yeah I think those two are really breaking it and breaking down the stereotypical country singer vibe or whatever you want to call it persona yeah and I mean I mean country for a long time had had a gospel aspect to it you know and that yeah. came from a lot of the, the black churches down in the south so you know I think there's a lot of a lot of opportunity there as well so I really look forward to seeing kind of how everything does hopefully like I said hope things open up a little bit more in in in, in, in the months but it's great to be able to hear that you're going to be performing live tomorrow it'll it'll be a little bit past it once this thing is um put on there uh when once this thing is but um yeah. do you have any upcoming performances that uh you guys you're doing or um really right now I'm just trying to uh see who will accept me in Nashville because the, the space is so limited due to um due to COVID so everything's packed in and there's a lot of artists in Nashville so really it's just when people call, I'm like, okay, I can come or I can't come. So it's, it really happens so fast. So I can't really put any specific dates out just yet. Yeah. I mean, I mean, and, um, you know, yeah, hopefully, hopefully things kind of open up again to, yeah. to perform and all that as well. But obviously check you out on your social media channels as well. I mean, yeah. kind of plug, plug all your like social media and your website and all that as well. Um, you can find me on basically any social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, really, because <laughs> that's where I'm mainly at. And that's at It's Piper Shaw, I-T-S Piper Shaw, at It's Piper Shaw on every platform. It's the same thing. Yeah, and then, yeah, make sure you guys check them out as well. I mean, you'll know when um, kind of everything is, you know, when everything's going down. If you want to see her live in person, fingers crossed, this year, we'll have yeah. uh, venues out there as well. How long are you going to be out there in Nashville? Um, just a few days, um, and then I'll come back. But we're there pretty much every other week. <laughs> so, we got, yeah, it's my second home. Yeah. But uh, anything, anything else going on with you this this coming year? Um, I have no idea. Hopefully, um, these two releases on February the sixth will um, do great. Um, Taylor, um, if you know Taylor Red Music, I don't know. Um, they're twin sisters. They're triplets, and they're going to be helping me promote um, these two songs. So I'm hoping that goes great as well. And then just growing my fan base and getting to know my fans, hearing what type of music or what type of songs that they want from me, and then going from there. Well, thanks a lot, Piper, for taking some time out. Um, best of luck to you coming up with the new singles. And, um, you know, hopefully, like you said, things open up and people can watch you live again. And if they can't, then they can always check you out on TikTok. So yes. uh, thanks a lot, Piper, for, for getting, taking some time out. Thank you so much. You guys can check us out on social media at SWIV, at SWIV, and somewhere in Vegas on Facebook. You guys can check us out on Instagram at SWIV Podcast. That's at SWIV Podcast. And you guys can check us out anywhere. The show is on Spreaker.com, but you guys can check that out on any of your podcast catchers, including uh, your iPhones and your Am- and, and your Androids and anywhere you get your podcasts as well. You can also ask Alexa to, l- to please play somewhere in Vegas. And you can also go ahead and just... Uh, you know, go to iHeartRadio and be able to listen to it there as well. So make sure you check it out. We'll be doing two shows a week for the foreseeable future. So definitely check us out. uh, And we'll see you guys next time here on Somewhere in Vegas.